So during tutoring, um, somebody asked me the question, uh, how do I find an equation of the, of the normal line to the curve, uh, y equals 10 over 14 minus x squared at the point uh, 4, negative 5? Well, before we go further, uh, the normal line is really a line which is perpendicular to the tangent line at the given point. And uh, here we have an expression, which is a fractional expression. And so we have to find the derivative of that. And for that, we're going to have to use our quotient rule, which, if you recall, was the lower function, which is 14 minus x squared, uh, multiplied by the upper function, which is, in this case, the derivative of a constant is 0, so we multiply that by 0, minus the upper function, in this case, which is 10, multiply that by the lower, by the derivative of the lower function, which in this case would be negative <coughs> 2x, negative 2x. Everything divided by the denominator or the bottom function squared. So it's 14 minus x squared and everything squared. So if we simplify, you can see this will go away. And then we end up with uh, the negative 10 times a negative 2x times a minus 2x all over 14 minus x squared squared like so, which of course if we multiply it out, we end up with a positive 20x, I'll put the plus there just for notes, 20x, 20x divided by 14 minus x squared, and we want to evaluate this derivative at the x at x equals 4. So if we substitute 4 in here, we're going to end up with um, 20 times 4 divided by 14 minus 16 to the second power. And if we further simplify, this will become uh, 4 times 20 would be 80. And then <coughs> subtracting 16 from 14. 14 gives us a negative 2, uh, but we square that, which is gives us a positive 4. And then, of course, this simplifies to just 20. So the derivative of the function at x equals 4 is 20. But we want to find the, the equation which is perpendicular to the tangent line, so we have to use... Uh, if m1 equals 20, then the perpendicular uh, slope would be the reciprocal, the negative reciprocal of that. And then we can just calculate or write an equation, uh, a linear equation that is, at the point for negative 5. So in this case, I can use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, so y minus uh, positive 5, so this would be y plus 5, uh, and that's going to be equal to negative 1 over 20 times x minus uh, 4. By the way, the reason this is a positive because y equals a negative 5, and you can simplify this and put it in standard form. So if you do so, you will end up something like uh, x plus 20y uh, plus 96 equals 0. And this will be the equation. This is the normal line. Normal line. Normal line. Okay, so that's one example. The other example was the following. It says, find the equation of the tangent line 
to this curve y equals x cubed minus 4. Uh, well, this is not a very uncommon function. It's, if we look at the, or it's going to look something like this, and then down like this. However, it's shifted down to 4, so we shift it down to here. So it will look something like that. So the derivative, is, you know, it exists. Uh, so we do um, dy dx. So in this case, we're just going to get 3x squared. And then the derivative of negative 4 is 0, so this would be it. Uh, and then if we, if we evaluate it at x equals 2, so the derivative at x equals 2 would be just, uh, I change it to y prime equals 3 times 2 squared, which is going to be 3 times 4, or just 12. And of course, uh, the tangent line again is going to be a, a linear equation, uh, which we can also use the same function as y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Uh, this has a name. We call this the point-slope formula. Point-slope. And you use it because if you're given a slope and you're given a point, uh, the name fits perfectly. So let's substitute the point, which is going to be in this case y minus 4, because y is 4. And the slope in this case is just 12. Uh, 12 times x minus uh, minus 2. And if we simplify, we get 12x minus 24, y minus 4, like so. And if you want it in standard form, then standard form looks something like this, ax plus by is equal to c. So then we can write it as 12x plus y equals uh, 20. And these are two very simple applications of derivatives.